Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce. In case you're new here, you're welcome. Uh, remember to subscribe to be part of this family if you like my content. Uh, for those people who have been part of me, I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much even for sharing. I've been seeing my videos all over. I really, really appreciate. It means we are, we are doing a good job. So I live in Canada and I share information on how people can immigrate to Canada. I also work together with um, an immigration consultant who is Helen from HM Group that is here in Toronto. So her, she's a, a qualified immigration consultant who comes uh, to our channel for Joyce Canada content creation every Friday, 6 p.m. Uh, East Africa time every month, every Friday to address all your questions to meet her in person in case you have not paid a consultation fee with her you can drop your questions every Friday and she'll be glad to, to assist you. Myself, I come to be live with you one-on-one -on, -one on every Monday. Uh, uh, we have extended it to 7 p.m. East Africa time because most people say between 6 and 7, they're usually on traffic. So we have pushed it to 7 p.m. And I think that one is going to be comfortable to all of us. So uh, thank you so much those who have attended my live sessions. In case you have not, I'm going to share the link here so that you can join us on our live stream. I just thought it is wise not to mix the the, the presentations here with the live. Live session is like, a, it's like a, a social platform. And also on that channel, I'll be hosting people from other countries, Australia, Germany, UK, US, Norway, anywhere you want to immigrate, Arab countries, China, you can you can meet all those videos you can find all those videos on the other channel so guys thank you so much uh, lately we have been talking about canada immigration pathways uh, or rather provincial nominations that you do not require a job offer to immigrate to these provinces and we agreed that there are five of them the first one is uh, quebec quebec is a province that they speak french the other one is um uh, Alberta, Alberta, and then Ontario is where I live, and Ontario has got two pro two programs, Human Capital Priorities and Ontario Tech. I have done that video already. Kindly go and check. The other one is Manitoba. Manitoba is the fourth province, and Manitoba is the one that we are going to address today, and then tomorrow we will finish by talking about Saskatchewan. I know there's also Nova Scotia. I may look for content for Nova Scotia, but I do not have much but you can go research on your own about Nova Scotia so that you can have at least six provinces that do not require you to have a job offer. We said why, why you're required to apply to the provincial nominations is because you have not qualified through express entry or maybe because you have not met the 430 to 450 points required for express entry, which is the umbrella for Canada immigration. And now you move on to apply through provincial nominations. And this is where we are now, addressing pathways that you can, you can use to apply through provincial nominations. Once a province nominates you, they give you a whole 600 points, and then you can add those 600 points to the express entry, and that way you can meet the requirements and you can apply for permanent resident. I've always said that this, these programs, you can apply them by yourself. You can apply by, by, by yourself if you follow our videos, if you do your research. But in case, you do not, in case you do not have enough time or in case you can afford to use an immigration consultant, we already have provided you with one who is Helen. Kindly feel comfortable to use her because I have verified her and um, she's genuine. So today we are going to look at Manitoba Provincial Nomination Program Renewal. They are, they are doing changes on the Manitoba uh, uh, Provincial Nomination Program. They, they, they are doing a lot of changes on this program. And I can only pray that they are going to make it look like New Brunswick, where they advertise for jobs openly. So they are doing changes. And they, are, they have said here that they are going to alert us at least a month before they launch it. So important notice here is that the skilled worker overseas stream and renewed skilled worker in Manitoba stream criteria will be in effect once updates to the uh, Manitoba provision of mini program online application system are complete. So an announcement will be made on this page 
one month before the renewed criteria comes into effect. The current uh, Manitoba Provision Nomination Program criteria for skilled worker overseas and skilled workers in Manitoba remains in effect for expressions of interest and applications received before the renewed criteria comes into effect. So in case you, you have been doing your, your expression of interest for Manitoba, you continue with it. Don't give up. Don't drop it. Don't withdraw. Continue. They still consider you until the, the, the first date when they are going to announce the new program. And once they do that, of course, I'll be here to, to let you know so that now you can know you cannot use the old a nomination program you'll be using the new one and i know the new one is going to become even easier than the, the former one so here they're saying that the renewed skilled worker overseas stream is for applicants who demonstrate an established connection to manitoba through the support of family members or friends through previous education or work experience in the province or through an invitation to apply received directly from manitoba provincial nomination program as part of a strategic recruitment initiative. Something I know very well about Manitoba. If you have got ties in Manitoba, take advantage. Manitoba is the only province that insists on ties in the province. If you know at least a friend, not even a relative, a friend or a friend to a friend, somebody who can write a letter and say that they know you, that's all you need to get through nomination. If you have that, you're going to get a free 50 points through that person. And then that's why I always say, look for people in Canada who can connect you to people in Manitoba. Because in Manitoba, you cannot apply to the Provincial Nomination Program if you do not have ties. If you do not have ties in Manitoba, this program is not for you. You have to know somebody. Because those points are too many. If you don't have them, then it means you don't meet the 67 required for the provinces. Okay, but if you have somebody that you know in Manitoba, uh, go ahead and, and approach them and then they can stand in for you. Okay, friends or family members. Uh, also something else for Manitoba. Manitoba is a province that is very strict on mix, mixing it with other provinces. They, they want you, once you apply through Manitoba provision nominations, don't attempt to apply through uh, any other province. Stick to Manitoba until the end. Other provinces, you can apply as many as possible. You can combine Ontario, Quebec, uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan. But for Manitoba, do not mix. Strictly stick to Manitoba if you're concerned or if you're concentrating on applying through Manitoba provincial nominations. Those two key areas. The other one, three things. The other one is that they need you to stay in Manitoba for two years. Once you come here, they don't want you to keep jumping, jumping from one province to the other one. They need you to come and stick within Manitoba for at least two years once you arrive here. But I also think Manitoba is the easiest. It's the easiest in terms of uh, getting nominated as long as you have got a relative because the other requirements are very minimal. The only thing you need to have is a relative. Okay, and then they are saying here that there are two pathways. The first one is Manitoba Express Entry Pathway and the other one is human capital pathway, these two. And then Manitoba Express Pathway is for candidates demonstrating high human capital skills, training and experience related to Manitoba in demand occupation list, lists and a strong family connection to Manitoba. So for Manitoba, you have to be qualifying for this express entry pathway. Uh, you have to be have you have to be in a group of the jobs or the skills that are in demand. And the other thing is that you must have ties. Besides having ties, you need to your job needs to be in demand. Let me tell you the skills which are in demand. Let's let's scroll down. Let's scroll down to skills in demand. Where had I seen that? Oh yeah, here. In demand, in demand occupation list right here. It's right here. There are, some, there are some skills or some jobs that were removed. Okay, they are right here. I'm not going to read them. But the ones that have remained are these ones. They are one, two, number one to nine. The first one is business, finance, and administration occupations. Those ones are in demand. 
natural and applied sciences and related occupations, health occupations. In case you're a nurse, consider applying in Manitoba, but you also have to have ties, somebody that you know. Then occupations in social science, education, government service and religion, occupations in art, culture, recreation and sport, sales and service occupations, trades, transport, equipment, operators and related occupations. These are truck drivers, occupations unique to primary industry, occupations unique to processing, manufacturing, and utilities. There are also rural in demand occupations. Okay, you, need, you may need to check that. Huh? Then there are also nurse aides and then industrial butchers. These ones fall under international education stream. Okay, so for Manitoba is simply that. I don't think there's anything we have not mentioned. I'm going to share uh, this link with you. Uh, oh, the new effect is going to begin around October 22nd. That is next month. I may have to do another video after that so that we can update ourselves. Okay, so in case you'll have, you'll be checking this video around October 22nd, just know that there'll be something else slightly different from this, but it's not very different from what we are saying. Manitoba is very, is very, very concerned about ties about jobs in demand and about what else did we say about sticking to that province for at least two years once you come to canada uh so guys i think with that i'm going to end this video for manitoba i'll share this link with you just in case you're interested to apply through manitoba you can go ahead and apply so thank you so much kindly remember to subscribe in case you have not subscribed, hit that subscription bell. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Just hit it and leave that bell. You know, there's a small bell there, like a notification bell, so that anytime I upload a video, YouTube will notify you so that you don't miss out. Most Once in a while, we get jobs that you have to apply direct. That is the importance of you having the bell on. So that like times when I have got news, like when I have got openings that are very easy for you to apply, you'll get notified once you're subscribed to this channel and once you have that notification bell on. So thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be doing Saskatchewan. And then uh, after that, I'll, 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 we'll see where to go. In case you have got any questions, comment here below. Like this video. Through your comments, I'm able to prepare videos. So let me know what you'd like me to address after we finish with them. Um, provinces that do not require job offers. Thank you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.